I built a closed world for Messer Structure, nature's tiny little farmers. And for the next 180 days, I'll witness the rise of a society, epic conflicts, and maybe even total collapse. Welcome back to Antrek. A my ant journey started with the smallest of things. One test tube, one lonely queen, and a whole lot of patience. Let's rewind to day one, where it all began. One queen in a tube, alone, but watching her, I believe. This is where an empire begins. Slow, steady, and unstoppable. Day 20. The first workers have arrived. To celebrate, I marked one of them with a tiny red dot, so we can track her unique path as this empire grows. If you think that's a fun idea, let me know in the comments. Day 20. The ant nest now has eight worker ants, each with its own mission, pampering the queen, hauling seeds, and babysitting the larvae like pros. Day 35. The colony is now buzzing like a tiny machine. 20 worker ants rushing around, caring for eggs nonstop. We even have two guards patrolling the nest. One of the worker ants lost a leg and probably from an injury. But don't worry, her ant buddy stepped in and snipped off the damaged part to keep her from getting infected. Day 40. The test tube's getting pretty cramped. They're running out of room, and I'm running out of ways to spy on them. To help them experience something closer to the wild, I built them a proper ant house, AKA the ant farm. The goal, make life comfier, boost productivity, improve seed logistics, you know, the usual. First, I glued six little farm plots together in a neat row. Then I built a tiny house using pre-cut wooden frames, making sure to line up all the pieces perfectly. Can't forget the roof, of course. Finally, I spread dirt over everything to finish off my cute little farm. I've placed six different types of seeds inside, each a different color. But one is fake. This is my way of testing their foraging instincts. Next up, it's time to scatter this pile of seeds into the awesome tank I built. Honestly, I initially planned to really challenge my ant colony by mixing all the different seed types together and making them choose, gambling on whether they'd pick the decoy seeds. But on second thought, that felt a little too mean for these cute little guys entering their new home for the first time. So I decided to scatter them into individual compartments like this. What do you guys think? Is that a fair approach? Let me know in the comments. When ants move out, they go slow. Come on, guys! This species is super cool. The queen just came out first. The queen acted just like a scout, moving all around the tank to find the perfect spot to build a home for her colony. It meticulously searched everywhere, overlooking no nook or cranny, not even this hidden spot. She'll choose the safest spot, and within days, the underground nest is complete. The worker ants are starting to move the larvae into the new nest. Beneath the surface, the queen and her workers raise the next generation. An extremely gentle approach to the future of the entire herd. But the ants had no idea a huge danger was lurking for them. Day 50. Day after day, they work without rest. And surprisingly, it's not just the workers. Even the soldiers are collecting seeds, one by one. The sunflower seeds were too large for any creature to pick up, and they didn't even pay attention to the artificial ones. They might look tiny, but their speed and diligence are truly unmatched. Just look, the number of seeds they're carrying away is rapidly decreasing. Wow, it hasn't even been a week, and they've already swiped all the seeds I prepared, and the number of seeds in their nest is quickly growing. In another corner, I find a soldier who's lost half a mandible, bit by bit, crafting those vital ant cakes. This will definitely be a super nutritious meal for the maturing larvae of the entire colony. Population boom. The number of larval ants and worker ants is growing so much so that you can see with the naked eye that they've practically swarmed the nest. Every single one is diligently carrying out a specific task. I spot the marked worker again. Turns out she's now a dedicated larva nurse, gently caring for the babies with extreme precision. At the same time, fresh soldiers begin to emerge. Ivory white, still soft, big jaws hardening. Looking at them, I can already see the future of my ant colony. A clear sign, this colony isn't just growing, it's thriving. To test their defenses, I released a few tiny crickets. Small, but jumpy and fast. 
Their presence forced the ants to surface. Hold on a second. I'm coming for you guys this time. The ants followed their scent. Never take your eyes off the cricket, but always keep your distance so you don't spook it. Give the cricket some space to let its guard down. There's no way out. Wow, and true to the prophecy, the very next second, our little cricket found itself in an unending hunt. Ah, no, it's more like bracing for an unexpected bitter pill, isn't it? And finally, it quickly had the honor of becoming a nutritious meal for the entire ant colony. One unlucky cricket slipped right out of the tunnel, instantly turning into an all-you-can-eat buffet for a swarm of ants on high alert. But how long can this rock-solid defense really hold up? It doesn't seem like it's been that long, has it? The ants keep growing stronger. The enemy has started its move, and its first target is the ant nest. This place will be mine! Mom, we have an enemy! I came to conquer. Will a queen who built an empire fall to this enemy? Danger looms over the entire ant colony. The brave soldier ants started showing their territorial fighting instincts. Charge, brothers! We have to defend our territory! Come get some! Shark claws biting into each other. Let's chase this enemy out and not give it a chance to invade! Get away from me! Seeing that, the enemy seemed scared and ran off from the ants' territory. That patch of ground still carries the scent of battle, but the ants' indomitable spirit will live on forever. Beneath the seed vault, a lone soldier returns. Its jaw snapped in half from battle. But does it stop? Nope. It just keeps grinding seeds like nothing ever happened. Respect. Absolute, tiny legend. From one lonely queen to an entire ant empire and a full-on turf war. Now, the colony rules this place. No question. But hey, this journey isn't over yet. If you want to continue watching, exploring, and joining these extraordinary creatures on their adventure, hit that subscribe button for Entree today. If there's a particular ant species you love, or an ant-related topic you'd like to explore, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and let Ant Trek know. We'll make videos on exactly what you're interested in. Check out this video for more, and I see you in the next one.